Hello. So I just got done doing this process and it was extremely complicated and I know a lot of people are struggling. So this video is to help you out. We're going to be buying Ethereum. I'll be showing you on Coinbase. From there, we will be sending it to MetaMask, which is a Google extension for my Ether wallet or Mu. And then we will be connecting into Ether Delta, which there we will be depositing the Ethereum into the Ether Delta wallet. And then we will be placing a buy order for Dragon Chain. So let's get started. All right. If you don't know how to buy Ethereum on Coinbase, you're probably going to have a hard time. So you should figure that out, right? You got it. Great. It's in your wallet. I don't have any. Just imagine it's there. You're going to go to Google. You're going to type in my Ether wallet, right? You're going to get taken to this website and it's going to run you through these prompts. You should read it. I'm not going to, you should read it and it'll give you some good information. Okay. Whatever. Now you're going to want to click this option, how to set up mute plus MetaMask. Okay. You're going to go here, scroll down, installing a uh, MetaMask. Find the MetaMask extension on the Chrome store. If you don't have Google Chrome, you should get it right. You're going to add it to Chrome. I already have this, so I cannot do that part. Once you get all of that sorted, you're going to go make a new account, right? So you go up here, you click it. It should be up there. If not, click these little dots and it should be in here and put it in your toolbar, right? And scroll down. You're going to accept that. You're going to scroll down again, accept this. Okay. You're going to create a password. Do not forget this password, whatever you do. I would recommend using a password manager such as KeyPassX. I'm not going to include that in this video. That might be a video down the road. Create this, right? You get the seed. This seed can be used anywhere. As long as you download my MetaMask, you can use this, right? You can retain your wallet with just this. So write this down, screenshot it, save seed word as file, store it in KeyPassX, do whatever you can to make sure you do not lose this. Right. I, this is just a dummy wallet. So I'm just going to do that and not actually take this very seriously, but you should, I've copied it somewhere safe. Great. I now have this account. Okay. You go up here and you can do copy address to clipboard. This is your, my ether wallet or your, my MetaMask um, wallet, right? So now you go back to Coinbase and you're going to want to send your funds from your Ethereum wallet right here. And when it asks for the address, you're going to put in that address. It's already in your clipboard. Just do control V command V if you're on Mac, right? Fantastic. You should now have this. Okay. You will have money here. It'll show your Ethereum. It'll show you the USD equivalent, blah, blah, blah. Great. Now you're going to want to go up oh, wrong link. You're going to want to go to etherdelta.com. Make sure you're on the correct website. And the way that MetaMask works is it is a technology that communicates to Ethereum networks automatically. It's genius. It's great. So as you see, I log in right now and bam, I have this address right here. It shows MetaMask. It's like, yeah, yeah, son, like you logged in, right? So you're here, you know, doing great. You're going to want to come over here. You're going to want to change this to Dragon. It's PPT. You don't want that shit. This doesn't matter right now, but this will save you in a couple minutes. So just click Dragon, right? Just get it. Just get it flipped. Now you're on the Dragon Marketplace. This is being a little slow to load right now. There you go. So I don't have any Ethereum right now. So this might be slightly confusing for you because I just spent all of mine on Dragon Chain. But in this scenario, it's going to say your wallet balance right there, right? That's going to be the amount that you should have deposited from Coinbase. Okay. So you're going to want to deposit partial credit into your account. Don't deposit all of it because if you deposit all of it, you won't have enough money to pay for what is called the gas price. And that is like, think about how a Bitcoin transaction works. You pay the fee. It's similar. I honestly don't know how Ethereum works very well, so I won't get into that. But with the whole crypto kitties thing and the Ethereum network being clogged, you're going to need to pay a higher gas fee for your funds to get pushed through than normal. So the go-to fee has been 55 gas. So, I, for example, when I did this um, myself, I had one, I had one Ethereum, right? And instead of depositing one whole thing, it would be smarter to deposit like 0 0.9 because then you have some 
room to play with for the gas price. So you're going to want to put in 0 0.9 right there, right? And you're going to want to deposit it. I don't even know what's going to happen. It's probably going to say I don't have enough funds, right? I'm sorry that I can't finish this step for you, but pretty much what's going to happen at this point is you're going to type in 0 0.9 and hit deposit, and it's going to open up automatically your MetaMask thing, right? And there's going to be a transaction sitting here, and there's going to be a little blue dot right there, and you're going to click on it. And then there's going to be another window. Uh, I wish I could show you, but there's going to be another window that pops up that has these variables, and you'll see the gas price. And in the gas price, you're going to want to put 55. That's the lowest. If you want your transaction to go through sooner, put it even higher, right? So I did 55 and it worked. Um, the Everybody's buying Dragon Chain right now. This could increase in the next, you know, since I post this video. So do that. Once you do that, you will see that your funds will move from withdraw and they will be in Ether Delta. So now once they're in Ether Delta, this is your wallet. This is how much you have to spend. So now you can go down here to the new order, right? So this confused the shit out of me. And I pretty much, I found out it was just much simpler to go here and click the bottom one because that's the lowest price listed, right? You can make a buy order and you will become one of these green people. And essentially one of these people trying to sell, they'll see a green order and be like, oh yeah, I'll sell to you, right? So I placed my own buy order and you know, you have to beat out this person's price for anybody to want to buy from you. So if that's what you're trying to do, do it. But if you're just trying to get Dragon Chain right now because it's blowing up, just go up here, click this. Okay, so now you click this. Let's say, for example, you had 0.9 Ethereum like I did, right? This guy's selling a crap ton. You obviously can't buy that. That's 6 Ethereum. So let's just do 1,000. How much is that? That is a little too much so now let's do like 990 still too much right so you get the key or get the point go down to 950 close you have 0 0.9 in your wallet but you're gonna have to pay another gas price and 55 ethereum was around like five us dollars so just to be safe you know you can always come back and buy more just do like 850 real quick okay boom 892 it says that's gonna be your fee buy right I don't have sufficient funds, so it's doing this again. But once again, when you do this, it's going to automatically pop up. And if it doesn't pop up, just go up and click MetaMask up here in the top right. This will pop up, and you have another transaction in there. You're going to click on it and then do the gas price again. And if you want the buy order to go through right now so you can have your coins, just put in a higher gas price. Once you do that, both of these transactions from switching to your wallet to the, or switching from here to there and from buying it to actually getting it once you place the transaction this window will pop up right in the middle of your screen and there'll be an address and you can click an address and it'll open up a new tab over on this website and this website the either scan is going to be uh updating constantly right it says failed this is like an earlier one that i did it failed right because I, I probably canceled it because i was confused trying to figure it out so that should be it you should be good and then once you do that and it sits here, you can watch it and then it'll confirm. And then you come back and then bam, you're going to have your dragon and it's going to be sitting right here in your other Delta wallet. Now, what you do with it from here is up to you. Personally, mine is still sitting in my other Delta. I'm working on it, right? Um, I hope that this helped and that you were able to make it through and you can ride this pump. Peace out.